So, I'm going to embarrass you. You're, you're arguably the most successful boys gymnastics coach in Illinois high school's history. Uh, seven state championships? Seven. Seven. Um, what advice would you give to a new coach to set up a successful program? Well, I think the first thing is you got to be more dedicated than the kids in your program. So if you can do that, and then hopefully they'll just follow your lead. I think the friendships that uh, I made, and I know it sounds kind of corny or whatever, but when I look back, I still talk to a ton of those guys around our team. And what I remember most about high school, besides we were fairly successful, but a lot of that was because we worked hard and we stuck together. So we were a, a real friendly group together. Yeah, all the way to the extreme of a couple of people who've gone in the military, uh, fought in Iraq and all of that kind of stuff. They come back and or write me letters sometimes just saying like the discipline they learned in the high school program of gymnastics uh, really got them through a lot of tough times in the military. I, I think probably more than anything, it's uh, taking a young boy and bringing them along, I'm not gonna say to manhood, but certainly to a young man and watching them mature. That's probably the most satisfying thing. But well, matter of fact, tomorrow I'm going out with, to lunch with two of them uh, who are now businessmen and you know don't have anything to do with the sport any longer. But again, that's that friendship they had and then they have that with me. I think the, the dedication that you need in diving isn't nearly as strong uh, as it is in gymnastics. Maybe because there's six events instead of one event. Uh, but, but, the, but the divers, you are, you're right, there are a lot of similarities. But I would say the gymnast has to be more dedicated and more team and oriented, whereas the divers are really just competing for themselves. Yeah, all my kids, uh, four kids, they all played uh, everything but diving gymnastics. So, uh, yeah, baseball, you know, uh, track, cross country, tennis, uh, which were all great experiences because high, there's nothing better than high school sports, for sure. Uh, but at the same time, I could see some deficiencies that they would have gotten if they were gymnasts. Can you, can you elaborate? Yeah, I think one is just the, the how hard you need to work uh, with your teammates to make a, a great team. Again, a lot of that, especially like with tennis and track, it was really individual. Uh, and beyond, in honesty, they didn't really care as much about the team as I see in our gym. Uh, I, I would just say that um, try to look beyond what other sports provide and try to look what we do. It's totally unique. Uh, and I say that as, again, as a father who had a lot of different sports involved in our family, and somebody who coaches more than one sport, uh, I can definitely see that. There's such a team aspect to it, uh, and such a growth, where you start out with basically no skills at all, and you're learning so much. Whereas, you, you run, you just run faster. You jump, you just jump higher. Well, we're learning, you know, maybe from freshman year to senior year, on one event, maybe 30, 40 different skills, multiply that by six. Totally different.